We are going to see if this sequence n times sine of 1 over n converges to Supernat. So if n goes to infinity, let's do the quick check. We will have infinity times sine of 1 over infinity. And then we know that 1 over infinity, we can draw a conclusion, which is 0. And then sine of 0 is 0. And then in this case, we'll have infinity times 0, though. That's bad, because we don't know anything about it yet. We have to do more work with it. And then usually, if this happens, we are going to change the form into either 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, so we can use Dapitos rule. And to do that with sequence, we will have to first write this in terms of x, so we can talk about functions and the derivative. So I will just write this down as x goes to infinity, and I will put down corresponding function. All I need to do is change the n to x. And I'll look at x times sine of 1 over x, right here. This right here will give us infinity times 0 situation. And usually, we can do this to fix that. We can uh, focus on the x right here. We keep this right here on the numerator. I will write this down as sine of 1 over x. But then we'll purposely write the x as over 1 over x. And as you can see, if you flip this right here, they are equivalent. And the reason we do this is because if x is infinity now, on the top we have 0, on the bottom we will have 1 over infinity, which is also 0. We get to use Lapidot's rule right here. And let's go ahead and differentiate so we can use Lapidot's rule and see what will happen. So by applying Lapidot's rule, on the top, the derivative of sine is cosine. So we have cosine, and then the inside stays the same for now. And then we multiply by the derivative of 1 over x. And the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. So let me write it down, negative 1 over x squared by the chain rule from here to here. And on the bottom, we look at 1 over x only and then differentiate that. The derivative of 1 over x is once again negative 1 over x squared. And then as you can see, this right here, they cancel each other completely. And now we just have to worry about what happens if x goes to infinity, which is right here only, right? So we will have cosine of 1 over x is infinity, just like this. And then we can draw a conclusion right here. This is the same as cosine of 0, because 1 over infinity, we can say that goes to 0. And then cosine of 0, we know that it goes to and that's a limit, right? And it's finite. Therefore, we can say this sequence converges. And we know that the sequence will converge to 1. And that's the conclusion for this right here. That's it.